are you so cute? I was a little worried at first because a dog and a raccoon don't typically get along. But they're just the best little buddies from the beginning. Hercules was just like, this is like a stuffed animal. He just wanted to reach out and squeeze him. They just run after each other, kind of pounce on each other. Hercules treats him like that's his little baby. He was always just like grooming him and cleaning his face. They spend a lot of time together and definitely like to be really close by and cuddle on each other. But when we first got Hercules, I just didn't think he was going to make it through the night. I got a call that there was just a really sick looking raccoon that could not move. He had just been dragging himself with his hands because he didn't have any function in his back legs. And I noticed that he just was skin and bones and immediately took him home. And I remember he crawled just with his hands and just looked up at me like, thank you. I really think he knew that we saved his life. We immediately talked to the vet and that's where we learned that he had a head injury and a spinal cord injury. And she said that there was a chance that he could regain mobility. So we just kind of did everything to get him back to health as best as we could. And being able to see him take steps again was just incredible. Come here. Are you standing? The goal is definitely to release him back into the wild but it wouldn't be safe for him because of those injuries. So he adopted us as his family. Play is really important for his continued healing and recovery. So we pretty much got Benny or Hercules to have a little buddy. I did supervise them when we first introduced them, but it was love at first sight. He was very into just like touching him. Maybe like a month or two passed by as Benny got a little bit bigger. What are you doing? And then it was just like, if they're not playing, they're cuddling together. You can just tell he's very happy because he has a little friend. We just have a great, happy little fur family. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible.